on Sunday, we continued our series uh, called Women Who Changed the World with Mike, who was talking about how Deborah was such an amazing leader in the Christian faith and just how being a woman and a leader, what that meant. And so I really enjoyed that message. Great job, Mike. Um, and so when we talk about leadership and we talk about all the different qualities the leader has, there's so many things that we can go into and especially a leader in Christ. We can talk about the person who is a servant, the person who is gifted in delegating, the person who is wonderful at, you know, amazing speeches and who is profoundly amazing at remembering scripture. There's just so many things that we can go into that make a good leader and there's different kinds. And to me, one thing that always it comes down to that makes an amazing leader is somebody who can embody the characteristics that we talk about and that the Bible talks about in John chapter three, especially, especially uh, verse 30. And so John is talking uh, to his followers who have questions about Jesus and um, are a little bit, they're a little disagreeing about some things. And John is just setting them straight about some stuff. He's saying, I came before him. I was sent ahead to prepare the world for him. And so when it comes down to people looking up to him, he brings it back around to Christ. And he says in verse 30, he must become greater. I must become less. And so what he's talking about there is basically when I'm doing these things, I'm doing it for him and in his name. And no matter what, he's really the one doing it. I'm just kind of physically helping him along the way. And so when we talk about an amazing leader, we talk about somebody who can recognize that God is working through them and that can point to that that part where of them that needs to shrink down so that they can be more like Christ. And so you'll hear a lot of times in, in prayers, um, maybe from some of the pastors and things like that, like, God, please less of me, more of you, less of me, more of you. Earlier today, I was um, on Facebook scrolling around and I saw that Mike's wife Sandy posted an amazing um, sermon message from Francis Chan where he was talking about just some different things about Christians and what I really loved is he started talking about how if you just read the sections of the Bible where Jesus is talking just the red letters say because most Certain Bibles will have anything that Jesus said written in red. And if you just read that, it could only take like maybe a few hours, maybe a whole day at most, but just, just that. And so if you're not going to read anything in the Bible, just like start with that. Start with reading what Jesus specifically said and then read around it, read the context and stuff to understand because a lot of times we think that, you know, Jesus was just all about love, but Jesus was about honesty and he was about uh, bringing forgiveness and love, but he was also about changing the world. And so when we talk about less of me, more of you, it's less of that worldview and more of that biblical view. And so this week, if you have time in your quiet time, maybe sit down and read those red letters. Set aside time to journal and think about what is Jesus saying in this pa these passages and really think about how you can take your life and make it less about you and more about him. Make him greater and you lesser. <laughs>